Whitney Wolf Hurd, co-founder of Bumble, was once known as the queen bee of dating apps. Women can make the first move. Women are equal. And that's why we set out to do that in dating and then friendship. And here we are at business and networking. But now, just six years later, Wolf Hurd will be stepping down as the dating app company's CEO and sliding into a new role while Bumble's growing pains as a public company continue. Formerly the youngest self-made female billionaire ever, the firm announced on November 6 that Wolf Hurd will exit her current post as chief executive and become Bumble's executive chairwoman on January 2nd. The move follows an extended slide for Bumble stock since the company's initial public offering in February 2021. At that time, the dating app held a nearly $9 billion valuation, but at Friday's market close, Bumble's $13.67 share price was 83% below its all-time high of $78.89, achieved in its first week of trading. The 34-year-old Wolf Herd saw her own fortune tumble as Bumble shares cratered, losing her billionaire status. Bumble's stock slid 9% to about $12.40 in early Monday trading following the news of the CEO transition, trading well below its all-time low closing price of $12.90 set last week. Previously a co-founder of Tinder, Wolf Herd founded the female-oriented Bumble in 2014, shortly after suing Tinder for sexual harassment. But as Bumble's market capitalization slipped to below $2 billion, Wolfherd's fortune took a similar tumble, tanking from a peak of about $1.5 billion in early 2021 to $510 million as of this May. Bumble, which was part of 2021's record-setting year of IPOs, has experienced similar stock declines to other companies that went public during the boom period. Stepping in as CEO will be Lydianne Jones, who currently serves in the same capacity at workplace messaging service Slack.